everybody. Happy Saturday. How are you doing? I want to talk today about decision making and how to make it so much easier. Just a little method to try out, add to your repertoire. So, backstory, we just finished the free five-day mindset tune-up over here at Kirsten Parker Coaching, and it was so much fun. And if you didn't get in on it, then good news for you, Betty Boo. We're doing it again. The next round starts on August 3rd. Sign up now because uh, you don't give yourself a task to do in the future if you are like all in right now because here's the deal. It's so good. We take these big ass concepts that are like usually hard to wrap your head around in an actionable, useful way and we just make them actionable and useful so you can actually freaking feel better and do something proactive about your mindset which makes a difference in, oh, I don't know, your entire life. So much fun. So sign up because we're doing it again and I insist. So something that came up this week that I use in my coaching a lot is this method of decision-making and this way that you can access a different perspective for what's important to you. And we like to think of this as going to your own private island. Another way to think about this idea, which we're gonna get into, is making yourself the center of your universe. <laughs> so much fun. So we get stuck in other people's thinking all the time, right? We put our priorities and our authentic desires and opinions on the back burner and we prioritize how other people will view us what they're gonna think, what they want, what they would want us to do, how we're gonna get judged, so many things. We also prioritize other people a lot of the time because a lot of us are helpers and we don't think that we deserve to be the number one priority in our own life. So this is where you get to transport yourself, my friend, to a private island where you are the only priority because all of your needs are met and you don't have to take care of anybody else. Your opinion is the only one that you have access to because there ain't no phones on this island. There is no television set blasting commercials at you. There is no Instagram feed. I get the irony, it's okay. Just bombarding you with other people's lives and opinions, not happening. So when you put yourself on this island, what? do you imagine you would want for yourself with nobody else got to have an opinion about it? No one's ever gonna find out what happens on this island. <laughs> you can use this as a decision-making device to kind of just like shake up your perspective, get yourself out of other people's thinking for a second. If you like the island idea, run with it. Like put yourself on the island anytime you want to get out of comparison thinking and get out of judgment land and tap into, well, if I were my own priority, novel concept, what would I want? What would I do? How would I feel? If you like the center of the universe idea, the, that flavor of this concept, then run with that. If I were the center of my own universe, <gasps> What would I choose to do next? Or how would I handle this situation? Or this, how would I make this decision? Because the idea is not to be selfish, right? Of course not. You have more to give when you are fully resourced though. So if you are constantly depleting yourself and not prioritizing resourcing yourself, making decisions for you, and you're constantly prioritizing other people and their opinions, then you don't have as much to give to the world. And we know that that's what you're all about. So enjoy transporting yourself to a private island. Enjoy signing up for the five day mindset tune up because it's free. Can't say that loud enough. And it's so much fun. Come hang out with me for a week. It's like not a lot of work, but it is life changing. So <laughs> I'll see you there. Have a beautiful weekend in the meantime. Bye.